All right, here we are. I finally got the designs and plans done for the uh, apartment renovation for the Avalon Zelena apartment. Uh, it took quite some time. It took around two months, but uh, we worked out all the details. There was a lot of back and forth. She gave some ideas. I was stubborn on some ideas of my own. I gave in on some other points, but we finally reached a design that's, um, that's very good. So I'll be glad to show this to you. Uh, let me get to the next slide here. All right, so we'll first start out with the visualizations. Uh, this is two, there's two parts here. There's visualizations and then there's like the detailed plans. So the um, visualizations are just how the place will look. It's a, um, basically a CAD drawing. Like uh, this is all done by computer. It's not real. It looks very real, but uh, this is how I would expect things to look when it's all finished. So the floors are a ceramic that looks like wood, and that's for uh, that's the reason it conducts floor heating better. There's going to be underfloor heating, so this is a better conductor of heat than wood. It's probably also lasts a lot longer, and it's easier to take care of as well. And so what you're seeing here is the main entry, and then the entry to the bathroom, and then uh, this is a proposed piece of furniture which I like. It's a very uh, uh, Ethan Allen style East Coast American. And the whole design cues here are a mix of Scandinavian and East Coast American style. Uh, it's very open, it's very airy, it's very pragmatic. Everything has a purpose. So that's the way I wanna go with this. Uh, and then here's the um, control center. So I'm gonna have all the heating, security, lighting, everything uh, controlled in one place if possible. Okay, so now we'll go to the next uh, slide here. So this is the entry door from another angle, as you saw before. And then these are the uh, garter robe closets, you know, for hanging your coats. Now, at first I didn't like having this uh, open at the bottom, but now it makes more sense that you're gonna take the shoes, you know, and kick them under, or just put them under without opening the doors and closing the doors. It's probably better that way, because I think you take shoes on and off more than hanging up coats and what have you. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, I didn't think of this, but now, now I like it and I like how practical it will be. It'll be very easy uh, to do, do things. And then as you go this way, we get into the kitchen and living areas. And then back here is the bedroom. And then, you know, here's another bedroom and the bathroom is here. Okay, this is walking straight in. So she put one of my favorite paintings up that she took from my uh, design idea deck. And she put it in there. I like that. Uh, she's really thinking good. And then this is the entry to the small bedroom. And this is the uh, entry to the master bedroom. I, I do like the track lighting. Uh, as long as it's got enough uh, watts and makes the place bright. And it's like in this picture, I have no problems with it. And uh, I want to maximize the ceiling height as much as possible. So I think this is a better way, uh, instead of having recessed lights, to have lights on the outside so the ceilings look higher. And we can have nice moldings here as well. So this is the view from the living room into the kitchen, as if you were, you know, looking from the balcony. Uh, this is all the kitchen furniture. I kind of, it's at first I wanted, you know, white with glass doors and everything and lights inside, but you know I'm on a budget, so I think this is a place I can cut because in the future you can upgrade. But right now, I want to get everything done under $20,000, you know, get this whole project done under $20,000. So some places you have to cut, and maybe in the future, you can come back and make improvements. As long as you have the wires and the plumbing in the right place, you can always uh, change cabinets down the road. But I like what she's done here with the blue and white contrast. This is going to be the refrigerator here uh, in a cabinet. The dishwasher will also be in a cabinet, so everything will look very clean and smooth. And then uh, these shelves will also be made by the cabinet designer. Now I'm probably gonna do away with these moldings here. Uh, I just want the moldings below this line, not, not above this line. So this mirror here will have a um, frame element instead of these moldings to kind of give the room a little bit more personality and also more versatility. Uh, and then let's get to the next one. All right, then this is another view, you know, with the dining table. I like this Danish design table, the chairs, uh, we could go with more simple chairs without the sides. You know, I'm not a fan of the sides, but I do like the color and everything, but we can go with more straight square chairs that'll save more space. Uh, so yeah, this is this is good. And then she even has the dishes out on the countertop not put away. <laughs> she really likes the plants a lot. I probably won't have so many plants in reality, but it makes a nice effect. Let's go to the next slide here. 
so this is the looking out the balcony door. And uh, yeah, this is she hit she hit it out of the park. Here she took off the moldings. This is this is good. You know, uh, I do want this line, and I do want the molding below the below the um below the line, but above the line, no moldings. So uh, I have to probably get that put back in here, but that's that's just details. At least uh, she understands what to do, and she'll tell the workers what to do when that point comes. It's it's not so hard. Uh, and she, I like the way she's using the blue colors. You know, it's kind of reminds me of Virginia Beach, where I used to live. You know, the ocean. I wanted that in there, along with you know having living in Norway. You know, to get some Scandinavian design in here as well. Uh, this is the bathroom. Uh, I got inspired by some things I saw on Pinterest. Very practical that you have the shower and the tub in the same chamber, you know, with a sliding door. So if you're in a hurry to work or if you want to relax, you're in the same place and all the drainage and everything goes in one place. You know, and uh, it's very much easier probably to keep this clean. And, you know, using a hanging toilet, at first I was apprehensive about it. I didn't know how they really work. You know, I thought once they're in the wall, and if something goes wrong, you're going to be breaking the wall, but they're actually very reliable, and they're very good, and it's very easy to clean under. It's a much easier cleaning solution, you know, to get under the toilet. You know, you don't have all that buildup around the side of the toilet that, you know, really gets disgusting. So I, I like this design. It's very clean, and actually the washing machine is inside here, uh, hidden away. I hope this can be, this is realistic, and this can really be done. I don't know how this door is going to open and how the washer door will open. I think they'll go in opposite ways, so it should work. Um, I have to ask her about that, how we're going to make that work. Uh, so, yeah, I like it. Uh, I like this, and I like the mirrors. Uh, she chose the mirrors. I have never even thought of this. So uh, this is very cool. And then there'll be LEDs behind the mirrors to kind of give it a glowing effect. So this will be a good way to get the morning started. And here's another view. Uh, and the taps here are on the side, which is kind of cool. Uh, I, I like that idea. And then there's like just a little table to move around, you know, instead of making a permanent shelf. At first I thought I wanted a bench or a shelf, but I, I think that's uh, that takes away some space. Uh, you know, we're, we're very space constrained on this apartment here. And I, wanna, I don't want things to be cluttered, so i really giving in there. And you see here, this is a, uh, a towel rack, a warming towel rack. It's a hybrid. It uses um, gas or hot water in the winter and then electric in the summer when you shut off your floor heating in the summertime. Because uh, a lot of these uh, things here, these uh, towel warmers, they use only hot water or only electric. And then um, in the summer, you have to keep your floor heating running just to dry your towels. And that uh, keeps the apartment unnecessarily warm. And then the winter time, you know, you can, instead of using, gas is a lot cheaper in Ukraine, then you can use the hot water when the floor heating is going. So it really helps you optimize the electric bill. And yeah, here it is. Here's that uh, warmer here, yeah, this warmer. I, I like this design, the square box design. It's pretty cool. And uh, we'll get the growy um, fixtures here to have this uh, raining shower. Uh, that'll be nice. <laughs> it'll be a really nice way to get going in the morning or probably get lazy, you know, have hot water on you and then you don't want to go anywhere. So I don't know about this tile grout, this rust color. I'll probably just go with white, but I guess this is the way it's recommended from the vendor. It's some Dutch uh, design, but I, I like it. You know, I, I like to have it a little bit interesting, a little bit busy. I don't want it to be too much like too sterile like a hospital. Uh, this is the bedroom design using my existing furniture. I really like what she's done here. I really like these floors. This is very Scandinavian. And again, we have the wall trim, which will be around the apartment to kind of give it some, you know, aesthetic thing. So it's not too, too Scandinavian. You know, this is more American East Coast style, Ethan Allen style. So this is, this is really good. This room is really done in good taste. I'm really happy. And then we have big closets here. And then this is the bed, you know, and really would like to know where she got all this bedding from. I would like to have this exactly as the picture. I think it's a really good job. And uh, I like this uh, curtains and everything, the blue colors. And even the doorknob, she, she hit it out of the park. I, I like these square and geometric shapes. Uh, here are the closets again. I like it. Um, and the trim. So this is... This will be a very nice and warm and comfortable room. 
uh, it's uh, it's not as I think it's bigger than it looks when I I walk through the apartment. It's very long. It's a bit narrow, but it's a very long room. So it's it's a little bit bigger than it looks in this picture. Now these are the detailed plans. This is what goes behind the walls and under the floors to make everything work. So this is where all the lights will go. You know, from the ceiling point of view. So we have LEDs in the closets, uh, under the under the cabinets in the kitchen. You know, LED behind the mirrors. Uh, we were very. I was very specific. She asked me, like, do you want the exhaust fan on a separate switch? And I said, yes. I don't want the exhaust and lights going together. Uh, we have. Uh, this was actually two bathrooms, so we have two drains and two exhaust ports. So I want to use everything. So I, um, you know, I want to have two exhaust fans in the bathroom. Uh, you know, so it's always dry and won't get uh, any mold or any uh, gunk in there. And then I want to use up all the drainage so the, you know, we'll have the bathtub and shower on one drain and then the um, uh, washing machine and the uh, sink and the uh, toilet on another uh, drain. So that way we have adequate drainage. You know, it's like one bathroom getting the infrastructure of two. So I really like how that's going to be. It's going to be a really good bathroom. And then we have uh, outdoor lighting, you know, on the balconies with a power outlet and light switch. So, you know, I can have a, I don't know, have something out there like a TV or something. I don't know. Probably have a gas grill out there, but um, maybe there's an option to have an electric grill. I don't know. Just want to have options. I don't know what's out there. So definitely we'll have options. So this is the power outlet um, design where all the power outlets will go. So, you know, I, I really want a lot of power outlets in the apartment, you know, and then we're also going to have air conditioning as well in in this room and uh, so this will be this will be very interesting and i believe these blue things are for some other kind of you know these are not electrical outlets but uh, direct wiring like to a light element uh, or to a um appliance so this looks like this is the um where the air conditioner goes out and this is where um it will be directly wired uh, versus you know electric in and out plugs so uh, this is this is all like really good, and then the the circuit breaker box will be hidden in the closet here, which I really like. That's a that's a good idea, to kind of have that hidden away the, the breakers. But it's very important that you get all this done ahead of time if you're going to undertake an apartment renovation. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. That's um, something I learned in the Navy. You want to do this all up front. Uh, apartment renovations or waterfall, because if you start changing things in the middle of the project, it gets very expensive. Or if you decide after the project that you want some power outlets and then you have to start cutting walls, it's very messy and very expensive and very time consuming and very distracting. So it's good to invest like two months with the designer going back and forth and you know closing your eyes and pretending to walk through the room and you know, deciding how you're going to use appliances, how you're going to use a vacuum cleaner, where you're going to use a TV. It's really important to get this right um, up front, you know, because once you commit to it, it's very hard to change it and almost impossible actually when it's done because it, it'll destroy everything, you know, if you have to sit there and cut open walls and what have you. Uh, this is the drainage and plumbing plan where all the taps will be. Uh, I, I need to make it clear to the designer that we want water filtration. You know, the water in Lviv, Ukraine is very chlorinated, very dirty. So you definitely have to have reverse osmosis uh, filtering under the sink. And then you change those cartridges. They have these 3M or Dow chemical cartridges that you can get. I, I don't know if they come on a subscription or how they do it, but uh, it's definitely available there. And I, I think that's a must. You have to have it. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this is very simple. But here you can see there's the washer, the sink, the toilet the shower drain, the bathtub drain, the kitchen drain, the washing uh, dishwasher drain. So all this is being well thought out of in advance. And this is what you're paying for when you're paying for the designs. The visualizations take a long time for her to do, but they're actually only 10%. These uh, drawings here are like 90% of what you pay for. And this is where all the work is based off and done. And this is what the builders work from. So they know what to do. And this is what you can hold them to, hold them accountable to. Uh, you know, you can use this as a checklist that, yes, this is here and this is here. So the bedrooms will be uh, radiated. This is the floor heating and radiators. So uh, they said it's not good for your health to have floor heating in the bedroom. So the floor heating will only be in the living areas in the bathroom or living room area, entry area in the bathroom. Uh, and then uh, 
and you subtract away where you have cabinets. There's no point um, heating under cabinets or heating under the toilet or what have you. You just want to heat where your feet will touch. Um, and because it costs per square meter, so you want to cut as much as you can to keep your costs down. Uh, so this, she did a very good job. We know exactly where the heating is going to go and uh, how, how everything will work. Uh, it's Everything is gas. It's a little bit different than Norway and many places in the U.S. They rely on gas a lot. Gas is a much cheaper option. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be very warm floors. And this is the furniture layout, proposed furniture layout. I mean, this small bedroom I'm going to keep empty. Probably won't get a closet. This ideas will come later. I mean, I'll probably just use it as an office. You know, for the time being, I'm going to be sleeping in this bedroom or sleeping on the sofa, <laughs> falling asleep to Netflix or something. But this gives a lot of details, so you know what to do. And then what you have to do, and probably in the next video, I'll show you my project plan. That'll be a, just going through an Excel sheet and a checklist. You know, I've broken this project down into 13 steps with the designer. Initially, I had 16, but she got it, helped me get it down to 13. And then you just go through each step one by one, and eventually you get to move in. So, all right, then let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, down below. If you need any help with this, um, I have good contacts. So uh, just uh, drop me a message or um, leave a comment below. Uh, I think I think Lviv, Ukraine is a, a good place to buy a new, new construction apartment, especially with this Avalon company. And uh, if you find the right people, you can get it done in a very good and tasteful way. So thank you and goodbye.